see. We're on a C. Coming down one till we do the bar dev. Down two. Down three from the C pentatonic scale. And you can also think of that as a bar G. C, then you can do this thing where you that kind of thing. That turns out that turns out to be a bar D. So C, C, then two down from the pentatonic kind of cell. It's an extension, extension of the pentatonic. Do you follow me so far? Yep. I think that's probably most of it, except for you can also go, that's a C. This is more of a way of connecting chords, right? So that they're either like this or underneath each other. That's a minor, that's a major. But let's say you had something like a C, and you want it to go to a G. I might go C. So I do what I want. Da, 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 da. And then I could go. Yeah, that sounded wrong. That sounded right. So. Yeah. That sounded really cool to me, right? You could also do a C here. You can do these two, the same, the same principle applies. Same thing, except it's either that or that. So we could do a C here. I really like it. It's really cool, <laughs> yeah. But they, they, they're things that they, you, I, in, I'm not good enough to be able to just combine them willy-nilly too much. I, I, I usually have to plan a little bit, but there are, very quickly, you just, it only takes 10 seconds. You go, oh, okay, I know what I'm doing. Cool, that's cool. So here are some, I'll give you some options, and you might want to think about this. Let's go from, say, an A chord. to a C chord, G chord. A, C, experiment, right? How about this one? E, D, C, D, E. I'm just randomly making up chords. How about D minor? C, D minor, C, G. A minor, D, C. A minor. You take that as an idea.